Okay, so now let's play scouts. Let's play a real deck. I played like three or four games of this deck and it's not okay. I can't believe that I haven't been just getting the free low for months and months off of this deck. And like after playing Rumble Riven, playing a, like a board based tempo deck, but playing one that snowballs way harder is like, it's like crack to me. Just not having to worry at all about what your opponent is doing. Let me think, do I care about Sharp Sight in this matchup? No, I care about board. I mean, I need like Sculptor and stuff. Heavens. So the way that Sun Disk beats Scouts is they have to like high roll into Xerath. Scouts is entirely not okay, big agree. Scrying Sands means it's swim version, which means they're gonna be focusing on their own win condition and not really worried about interrupting my board. Potentially no endless devout means they can't fight me for board at all. Just going to go for Bright Steel Protector here because it clears the Roiling Sands to clear a path for Misfortune. And then the 3-2 just gets to clear the 3-1 for me. Having played a lot of scouts in my own climbing, the Duran Sculptor Broadwing is the best addition the deck has ever gotten. That's the and that's one thing we talked about when it comes to Demo to Demacia is that every good tool that Demacia has gotten over the course of the years has helped out scouts and like Fiora Shen. We just play Island Navigator here. Whatever one drop we get tanks the Roiling Sands. So here you go, Rock Hopper. Take your you know take the one drop. Oh, you don't want it? Okay. Quinn. Soothsayer is not enough to save you. Actually. Because then Valor lives. Right? You drag that into play. <laughs> Hourglass! Yes! I don't- you better go down one blocker. Stop, he's already dead. No! You, you'll get no sympathy from me. <laughs> it's the old, uh... Like when you play Ike. Hope you got another scrying sand. Nope. It's Ike from uh, Super Smash Bros. Sprawl where he's like, you'll get no sympathy from me. And this last like few metas, Scouts has just been fantastic the entire time. Scouts is literally, what if we gave Demacia an aggro deck? I think historically, every aggressive Demacia deck has been tier one. Um, Scouts, um, every elusive based Demacia deck kind of counts. Faye. Do we need Blinding Assault? No. Okay, I guess we do need Blinding Assault. Pardon me, deck. I didn't realize that I was in dire need of Blinding Assault. Oh, Legion Rearguard is spooky. So if I play Sculptor, then I... And like baited into playing sharp sight to not block the rear guard. So I'm just going to play the Mirai Warden. To have some modicum of defense. This also gives me more pressure to attack into them. If they don't have another development besides rear guard. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Fallen Reckoner is a disgustingly nutty card. The reason it didn't see play is because they added it to the game. When there was still a lot of like Equinox and stuff around. And like with Loping Telescope also granting Equinox, you could deny the second half of it. And it was like really ridiculous. Brothers Bond. Okay. Coolio. Fortune favors the bone. 
Wait, didn't we have a Nexus earlier? Yeah, I know. I got I got I got boosted on. Actually, we want to attack like this first to get the scout attack. They're j they just have to pray for Darius to save them here, right? Yo, what's up, Haru? Welcome in. We're kind of even. They just have the attack token when they need it. Right, Steel Protector's godlike. Oh god, Fallen Reckoner, here it comes. Not Haru, say Harun. Harun, all right, cool, cool, cool. Welcome in, Harun. Oh, they passed? That's, that's curtains. That's GG to pass against me like this. They can't attack, but now, now we win. Right? Like 100%? Because we can play Quinn, and then we still have double sharp side up, and there's no way for them to punish this play. Because I can play one card that summons two things, and they, they can only play one card that summons one thing and gets dragged to the side. Yep, another Reckoner. Okay, so we can win. Um, so we pull to get the scout attack, and then Misfortune levels up, and then we win. They can't attack, but they also can't pass. Bright Steel Protector. Bright Steel Protector is insanity! This card is so busted. They're gonna give this card the Catalyzer treatment. They're gonna have to nerf it to a 2-2. Like, even if it was a 2-2, it would just be Blast Cone Seedling that protects a different thing instead of itself. And it's still brutal, because it's literally a two-mana AoE stun a lot of the time, and it's one of the reasons that makes Golden Aegis so strong. I know, right? What a deck! I've been missing out. I've been absolutely missing out on, this, on these freebies. Like, this is not cool. <laughs> I still feel like Scouts Blow if you don't draw MF. The Duran Sculptor Petrocyte Broadwing very heavily offsets that. They do still lose a lot of their power if they don't get MF, but Duran Sculptor makes that Daijobu 100%. You cannot draw MF, but if you get Sculptor, you're still fine. Um, so we're attacking on odd turn on even turns. So Quinn is a curve, but it's not as good. But versus Victor Lee Sin, it's probably just insane to play, so I'll keep it. And the other thing, too, is a lot of the matchups that... Uh, a lot of the matchups that you're kind of supposed to win... All right, let's get to work. Or rather, you're supposed to lose, you can still win. You can still win if... Uh, you just draw like the nuts. What was that you said, Daijobu? Oh, it's a weeaboo thing. It's an old, old, old joke from back in the day. Um, where people used to make fun of uh, like anime fans. And rather than saying, are you okay? You would ask, are you Daijobu? But the joke is that saying Daijobu is the Japanese phrase for, are you okay? So you're actually saying, are you, are you okay? And then there was another joke like anime where the fan subs like put that in. Are you Daijobu is like an inside joke. It's and it just kind of stuck. I like I started saying it ironically and then it stopped being ironic. And I don't know. You know how it goes. So we've got Island Navigator here. Alternatively, we've got Bright Steel Protector Mirai Warden, which seems way better. Because Bright Steel Protector Mirai Warden means that the Fleet Feather Tracker can kill Ballistic Bot. Also, this version is running a uh, Triple Ranger's Resolve. So I'm going to pull like this, obviously. And the reason I'm going to attack rather than developing Mirai Warden is because it makes the Ballistic Bot not have good trades here. Triple Ranger's Resolve feels a lot. Triple Ranger's Resolve was my theory craft for this particular meta. Because if you get Ranger's Resolve when you need it, it wins you the game, right? 
your opponent might be forced into a position where they have to take a big gamble with removal or like a certain trade to try to stay in the game. And if you have the Rangers resolve, it wins you the game. And if you're ahead, right, you're floating tons of mana anyway. And so it's super easy to just use them willy nilly. I've never had triple Rangers brick for me yet. Lee Sin with no mana. Okay, I'll play Quinn. This deck is so ridiculous. And because I've never played scouts, I have so much saved up scout luck. <laughs> that I, I'm not even bricking. We haven't even drawn Petrosite Broadwing yet. <laughs> People who play a lot of scouts end up like, you know, you run out of the juice. Hold on, I invite you to the super secret scout. Enjoy your discard. It's where all the cool kids have been hanging out for months. I know, I've been missing out. It's like, it's like when you try to get to the salty spittoon, the bodyguard's like, Welcome to the salty spittoon. What's your scout mastery? And I'm just like over here trying to get into Weedy Hut Juniors playing, uh, <laughs> playing Rumble Ribbon. <laughs> Let's count to four, chat. Fleet Feather Tracker ain't really that good. There's better cards that we can get. I'm going to mulligan the, uh, the Island Navigator. Island Navigator feels appropriate to keep because it allows us to go very wide, but we really can't scout attack into Yumi Pantheon because we're just going to be feeding a wounded white flame or something. Does Victor giving zero mana spells make Plaza Guardian decent? Oh my God. Plaza Guardian is probably nuts right now. Now that you mention it with iterative improvement. Because um, Gouda was playing um, Lee Sin Victor and said that a lot of people were playing um, Mystic Shot. And he felt that Iterative Improvement was much better in that spot. I'm going to be honest with you. Quinn is the biggest bait in all of Scout's deck since the saddest thing I've said. Ooh. Do you run Moose instead, Rune? Or do you just run like Genevieve instead of uh, Misfortune? Do you run Shivana maybe? Oh, I could see that. I could see running Shivana in this deck. Just having a stronger four drop rather than going all in on a five drop like that to let you go wide. Because then Shivana gains boosted stats as you attack. Misfortune Shivana scouts. I don't think we can attack into this. It doesn't look that great for me. I think we've got to pass and take another five damage on ironically. Like, it'll always live on in my heart. There's a lot of, like, older games I've played that I'm just like, man, this was such a good game. Like, Dawngate and stuff. Do you miss scrolls? I miss the boat on scrolls. I never got into it. I know, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people who do miss it. Because I heard good things about it from back, way back when. Wow, this is really unfortunate. To see the, um, to see them draw, like, such a wide board. Typically, they want to go all in on, like, Saga Seeker or Wounded White Flame. So, the fact they got, like, Mountain Goats and stuff to keep up with my, uh, you know, wider swings is, uh, disheartening. It's just the ultimate showdown. If I go for four Demacia, they'll have to cash in a couple single combats to stop me. I really don't have anything else to do this turn, so I am going to go for it. Because if I four Demacia and this resolves and I get to wipe their board, it sets up for a nasty Golden Aegis plus Cythria in a turn or two. Have you played Cross Maga at some point? Yes. Oh, actually, I did play a lot of Cross Maga. Ironically, when it comes to uh, Cross Maga, this is technically incorrect because Sarp Sight would allow that trade to happen. So it's better for me to go like this. Um, I was playing it on mobile and I remember there was a game I was winning, but because I was playing on a tiny phone screen, I like misclicked and then I uh, got wrecked. Yeah, what if they're running Judgment? I just realized that. Wait. No, we're still fine. Look at all the gems. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're still fine. They still surrender, yeah, because they still take tons of damage. I still get to keep two things alive. They're going to burn their next card because their hand is full of gems. I almost surrendered there. Could you imagine? <laughs> 